Hey guys and girls, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use a plugin with Octopi that will stop your printer um, at the end of a print and power it down. It will also shut down the Raspberry Pi. Um, one of the problems I found with the Raspberry Pi is that if you leave it plugged into the printer and the printer's turned off, you still get a little bit of power going to it. Um, which can, you know, it's not a good thing. So uh, this way your, your print will finish, a termination signal will be sent uh, to the smart or to a smart plug and then that will turn off and your Raspberry Pi will shut down um, a little bit later. So you're going to need a few things to be able to do this. You're going to need to be running um, a Raspberry Pi with Octopi on. You're going to need a TP-Link smart plug. Um, these are they're, they're, they're a little bit pricey but you can pick them up off Amazon they're not too bad um, they work really well so you, you get a free app with it called CASA you set the plug up that's all you need to have done really you're gonna need the IP address of the plug so uh, when you connect the plug to your Wi-Fi uh, network um, it's gonna give it an IP address that IP address really needs to be static so it needs to not be dynamic uh, the difference between that is uh, when you connect something to a uh, wireless network it will assign it an IP address that IP address can change uh, every time it disconnects or connects or the router re power cycles so in the router settings you should be able to assign a static IP address so set a static IP address to your smart plug um, and that way you'll be able to use the IP address in the settings of the plugin in Octopi and you won't have to worry about it re, uh, re assigning a new IP address and having to go back into those settings and changing everything. It just makes your life a lot easier. Um, so before we get started, um, I'm now on Instagram. So uh, please head on over to Instagram and follow me. That's the username. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, so let's jump into this tutorial and see how we get on. Okay, so we're inside Octoprint and we want to go to the plugins manager. So navigate to the plugins manager and then you're going to click get more and click in the from URL and the URL is in the description that you need and then just click install. That's going to install the plugin. Um, it's once it's installed, it's going to ask us to restart Octoprint. So we need to do that. So just click the restart Octoprint. Uh, button when it pops up. Once it's restarted, we'll come back to the uh, plugins manager. Okay, so we've now got it installed and we can come down the bottom and click the TP Link um, plugin settings. And if we click the little plus, we can add our smart plug. So we click the plus. We're going to need to put the IP address in. So mine's 192.168.1.3. I'm going to give it a name. The icon uh, is quite useful as well. You can choose what icon you want. Uh, not going to tick thermal runway or anything like that. And literally, what I want to do is come down to G code trigger. And this is what allows it to uh, use the G code trigger to do stuff. And we're going to click in the run system command. I'm going to type in sudo shutdown now and give it a 30 second delay. Once we've done that. Uh, we'll be able to save it. So the the pseudo shutdown now is what will shut down the Raspberry Pi. So click close and save. So that's it for the setup in Octoprint. Really, really straightforward, quick and simple. So two things to do: one to enable the G code uh, triggers, and two to put in the um, pseudo shutdown now command which will then shut down the Raspberry Pi um, once the printer's turned off. So quite easy. There's one more thing we've got to do, and that is we have to configure our Cura G code. This is a really important step. If we don't do this, um, it's once the uh, print finishes, it's not going to send the uh, command to the Pi um, to actually shut down the smart plug. So let me show you how to do that now. Okay, so you're inside of Cura, you want to go up to your printer settings and you want to go manage printers, uh, go to the machine settings of your printer and you'll have your start and end G code. Uh, in your end G code to turn the printer off and send the shutdown signal, you want M81 
space and then the IP address of your smart plug and that's it job done uh, you could use M80 in the at the beginning of the start G code to power on the printer if you wanted to uh, and that's it you slice your model and get printing okay guys and girls so I hope that was helpful to you uh, please remember to check out the the Instagram and also uh, subscribe to the channel like I say it does help me out and uh, it's lonely here without you guys so thanks a lot mm -hmm.